My name is Jonas Stenström and I'm a biologist and science filmmaker and I live in Sweden. I've spent the last almost 20 years now documenting nature in order to try and tell some of the stories from the natural world and try and get more people interested, inspired and wanting to protect it. This is incredible. Nature in the natural world is something that has always come natural to me. I was fortunate enough to grow up in a time and place where spending time in the outdoors was something that was just part of daily life. And I was also lucky to be able to travel and explore places and see all these cool animals really at a young age. I feel today that there is a bit of a disconnect with nature. There are so many things to distract us every day that spending time in the outdoors seems to get cut. And I think that's really sad. There are stories around every tree, around every corner. Unfortunately, a lot of species and a lot of places are right now really threatened. And when I was a young boy, I got inspired by watching documentaries on TV. And today I feel that I want to be part of that next generation to inspire others to understand that the natural world is just an amazing place that is worth protecting. Hey guys, Jonas here. I am in northern Sweden at the moment. Can you see how beautiful this is? This is the alpine tundra. I want to be one of those voices to be able to show people that out here there are so many interesting things that are worth protecting. We always talk about species on the brink of extinction and it feels sometimes that we're trying to categorize which species that we can justify going extinct and which ones are worth saving. But that's the thing about nature, everything is connected. We can't really do that. Everything has a role and plays a part in nature, us included. One of my absolute favorite feelings is when I'm outside and I get to a place where I, you know, nature reminds me of how little I am in this grand scheme of things. Standing on top of a mountain, looking out over a sheet of clouds, or diving on the water with sharks and coral reefs, and you just understand that I'm just a little part of something much bigger. I often think about how much I would hate if I had to explain to my kids when they grow up what an elephant is. If all I had as a reference was something that we could find in the museum. I want to be able to look back and say that I've done everything I can to be able to give my kids and, and the next generations every chance to experience the things that I experienced when I was a kid and the things that I have experienced in my professional life. Looks like almost like a, a, a white spot in the water, almost like a small little island. But then just imagine what this would look like in, say, November when there's 10,000 of them coming here. I'm going to continue doing everything I can to shine light on the beauty of nature and do what I can to protect this world for generations to come. <laughs>